Good morning students, it's class time with the Kekrates. By the end of this class, we will know how to use Microsoft Excel rank function to rank a number in a list of numbers. To explain this, I've made for us a little table showing the third term result of 10 students in a school. And we're going to use Microsoft Excel rank function to determine their class position. Let me quickly type the rank function right now. So, on cell G6, I'm going to type the rank function. Then, I jump inside. Microsoft Excel rank function takes three arguments. The first one is the number, which is the number you want to rank in a list of other numbers. It must be a number or cell reference that contains a number or an equation that returns a number. The second argument is the ref, which must be an absolute range of cells containing numbers or constants. The last argument is the order, which is optional. It can be 0 or 1. 0 for descending order, while 1 for ascending order. Now let's go ahead and fit this function with these arguments. Now we are going to use the number 69 which is at cell F6. So I will just click on 69. Of course you can see Microsoft Excel have automatically selected the cell reference. Remember from here is comma separable. After the number you add a comma. So I will add a comma right now. Then the reference, remember I said it must be an absolute range. So I want to compare this 69 among the range of cells there. So I've selected them from F6 to F15, comma separable. But remember I said it must be an absolute range. So I will highlight the whole of this and I will press F4 on my keyboard to make it absolute, just to lock it. As you can see, dollar sign have appeared in front of the row indicator and in front of the column indicators as well. So this format, the cell reference is an absolute format. So after that, I will take the last parameter. Remember I said it's optional, which is the order. If I didn't um, put it, it automatically take the descending order. But I will go ahead and add zero, which is descending order. One is ascending order then after which i will hit enter on my keyboard so you can see that the student at serial number one sanwoke is positioned in the class um, among 10 students is what he took the fifth position if i copy and paste this function by drawing this autofill handle right here uh, if i draw it down you can see their positions the student serial number 10 took the first position while the student serial number two took the second position the student serial number five at frank gentle took the third position just that way you've determined the class positions of these 10 students for third time results okay so now let's try to modify this function a little by changing it from zero order to one to other one so if i clean the zero and add one and i hit enter on my keyboard you can see that this student now took um the sixth position if i draw it all down you can see that the person okay there who, who took the first position before and uh, now took the um tenth position because we changed the order from descending to ascending okay question of the day what if you have a situation where two students had the same score what will excel do that is the question um maybe here the student at serial number 10 scored um 64 and the student had um maybe serial number five scored 88 what if we have a situation where we have something like 88, 88, or 64, 64? 
what will excel do because these two they are equal are you going to say these guys um they took first um we answer that question in a video whose link is on the top right corner of your screen click on the link to know the answer to the question don't forget to subscribe to my channel like and comment on the video share to your friends on social media and you will be my friend forever take good care of yourself and please do stay out of trouble bye